What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to unbox the two new films from Cauldron Films. We have Contraband and Murder in a Blue World. Stay tuned! Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, back with another unboxing video for you guys this time from Cauldron Films. I haven't done an unboxing for them in a long time, so uh, I know these got delayed, had some issues on getting these out and everything. I don't remember the exact details off the top of my head. I think it was uh, waiting on getting stuff from, you know, manufacturing uh, side of things or something like that. But... Nonetheless, they're here. Uh, I do have the ones before this coming in at some point as well. Uh, so sorry for the delay on that. I have like crap on my shirt here. All right, cool. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, let's let's dive into these things. I'll, I'll do like I always do and just show you guys first and then we'll open them up together for those that want to stay and look at the insides and everything. So first we have Murder in a Blue World. This is from Elroy de la... Ingles Inglesia, I, I don't know, and a bunch of names I don't recognize in this cast, but uh, really nice looking release here. Love their side loader packaging that they've been doing since the beginning on these Cauldron titles. Of course, Cauldron run by Jesse Nelson from Diabolic DVD. Uh, this is his uh, baby here. This is his label here. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with it, it feels like there's some embossing going on possibly as well uh, Again, very nice looking release. This is number eight in the cauldron line And then we have the regular edition of contraband a film by Lucio Fulci uh, One of his films I have not seen looks pretty interesting though. There's the back of that And your spine this being number 7a Because there is two covers for this and then you have Contraband again. And there's the back of that. I believe this is the back. And, of course, 7B on the spine on this one. So, yeah, definitely very intrigued by that one, especially with uh, being a Fulci film. And then you get the uh, Contraband uh, Marlboro Red style magnet here, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't really have anywhere to put magnets besides the fridge, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll just slap it on there <laughs> along with the other cauldron one uh, as soon as I find it in a box somewhere. You guys can still see there's boxes in this room, so I'm trying to get there though, okay? Alright, uh, let's open these things up. I don't think I even need a knife. Looks like it's uh, wrapped to where you can just pull it apart, maybe, if I can uh, get it. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Let's let's just get one anyways, shall we? Because I, I don't want to sit here and struggle with you guys. Hope everyone is doing well, by the way. Um, it's uh, hot and muggy and just like very just ugh, outside here today in uh, the Indianapolis area. So hopefully you guys are staying indoors and staying cool and uh, all that stuff. And uh, yeah. All right, let's get the wrap off of here. Open this sucker up uh it is embossed where it says contraband and kind of the same thing on this side as well you can feel the lettering there very very nice and inside you get the artwork on as the other cover and then you get uh, some reverse art here i guess it's also known as the naples connection there's the behind the disc and see what we got inside here. You got some uh, art cards. You get a uh, uh, soundtrack with this as well, by the way. So there's your soundtrack listing. And then your uh, postcards, whatever you want to call them, art cards. They're double-sided. So make sure there's nothing I can't show here. <laughs> I have no idea. I have not seen the film. So I, I would assume being a Fulci film that there is uh, nudity. But uh, I'm actually showing you guys before I even see some of these. All right, there we go. Don't want to get flagged or whatever it is they do. Um, always a nice touch. Again, I, I don't know what to do with these. Um, I guess if it's a film you really uh, enjoy, you could get a frame to hold these and make a little 
collage or something. All right, get that back in there. Get your uh, soundtrack listing back in there. The disc back in. Pretty pretty bland disc art there, but that's okay. All right, so let's see what we got for features. You got uh, new interviews with Ivana Monti. I, I I'm not gonna pronounce a lot of these names, guys. But you got a bunch of new interviews. You got archival interviews, uh, trailers. You get a commentary by Bruce. Holland check, Troy Hallworth and Nathaniel Thompson and the image gallery. This is from 1980, runs 97 minutes, 185 aspect ratio, unrated. Region free release. You get uh, Italian audio and uh, dual mono and English audio and in dual mono. Uh, English uh, subtitles as well. Again, from 1980, 97 minutes. Very, very nice release here. Let's uh, put that back in that way. All right, moving along to the next uh, contraband. I'm sure it's the same on the inside of both of these, but we'll see. All right, get this opened up here, maybe. I always struggle on camera. If I wasn't recording right now, they'd open up very easily for me. I need to get some more of the uh, VSA slip covers from Vinegar Syndrome because they fit these very nicely along with like the Aero slipcover editions and stuff. All right, and again, same artwork there. Now this one I will turn around since this artwork's the same as the slip. So we'll make this one the Naples connection. Almost said nipples. Yep, yep, it's the nipples connection. Gotta connect those nipples. Uh, I'm gonna assume they're the same art cards. Yep, they are, so I'm not even gonna show you guys those. Same disc. Just the slip cover is different. We won't go over the features on this one because they're the same features. Yep. All right. So there's two contrabands. Let's move on. Ooh, a FedEx truck. Did I get something? Nah, he drove by. <laughs> uh, like I need anything else right now, right? <laughs> Another uh, update will be coming uh, very shortly. I'll try to watch uh, maybe both of these, but at least want to watch um, contraband before then. This is probably the more popular title, and I actually know of the director there. Get all right again. You have embossing on the title here. You have embossing around uh, the people on the cover here as well, and actually the blood drip on the back is embossed. So very very nice book covers from Cauldron. All right, here is your inside. Open this up. And you do get um, alternate cover art here, which I think I'm going to go with that one, even though they're both different than um, the slip. This is a Clockwork Terror, I guess is the alternate title. Right, get the disc back in there before I forget. So here's your alternate artwork. This looks like they look like two completely different movies. I don't think they are, but yeah, we'll see. All right. And then your booklet on this one as well. I'm already sweating profusely. Just got back from my watching my kid as a martial arts class, and it was really hot in there. So, uh, still trying to cool down from that. But uh, no postcards on this one. But you do get a booklet. Okay, that's a guy. I can show that one. <laughs> um, yeah, no nothing of either one of these films. Uh, these are be both first time watches for me. If you guys have seen these, definitely let me know. A good shot there. Someone getting their throat slit. Gotta love that uh, giallo type blood there. It's uh, super fake, but still enjoy it. All right, features on here. Um, let's let's go over the specs first. Uh, this is from 1973. Runs 97 minutes. This is in the 2.40 aspect ratio. Unrated. You get English audio and Spanish audio, both in dual mono as well. English subtitles, uh, region free on this one, just like uh, Contraband was. You get an uh, archival interview with Chris Mitchum, dubbing in a blue world, video essay film, or sorry, video essay by film scholar Dr. Xavier Donald Rise, commentary by film historian Kat Ellinger, uh, image gallery, clockwork tear, VHS cut, and standard definition. So you do get two different cuts of the film. Uh, so, um, which I'm sure with that one being standard definition, it's not going to look too great, but it's on there nonetheless. All right, so that's it, guys. Make this uh, short and sweet and just uh, show you guys these new releases from Cauldron.
and I will probably post uh, a similar video over on TikTok. So we'll see. All right, let me know if you guys pick these up, uh, if you guys are fans of the Cauldron Films line, and uh, what your favorite release is from Cauldron. Uh, if you want to answer any of those, go ahead. All right, that's it, guys, for this video. Uh, as always, peace, love, and happiness to all of you, and I will catch you next time. Later.